Seriously. <laughs> he went to see the Barbie movie. He went to see the Barbie movie. Pink explosion. <laughs> hair. You can't, can't do, do um, yeah. a Barbie without hair. Oh. You can't even do Barbie without uh, Barbie. So we have Barbie. Barbie? Hello, Barbie. Hello, Barbie. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello, Barbie. Hello, Barbie. Okay. <laughs> Where's the other one? I have a third one. This are all, my, all my Barbies that I have in the house. Oh, like no. Barbie. Barbies. <coughs> this is more Barbies I have had in my hands in like forever. No. <laughs> Hello, Barbie. Hello, bye bye. I liked in the movie that every Barbie is called Barbie. Barbie, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So this is yeah. just going to be a screen about the movie and, and hopefully saying a little bit of. of Social commentary. I have some stuff on my paper. Is the oh first thing is this movie for adults and adults only? And well, it's a, a PG thirteen. Yeah. So what does that mean? If you're under thirteen, you need parents. You know, we when we after the movie we sat down for some food and there's a lady there. I remember. There. <laughs> There's a lady there, and we, every time we sit down there, we are always after a movie, and she, she knows that. So we talked about this movie, and she said, when we're talking about my movie, ah, my kid would like to go and see it, but is it suitable? Kid is six. And I'm going, um... Why not? You know what? Indeed, why not? Why not? I, I basically, I said to the lady, if the kid can sit in a movie at all, and like yeah. sit, yeah. For, for, sit for for an hour, for two hours for, yeah. to sit out the movie... Yeah. Then yeah, uh, even though PG fourteen notwithstanding, there is nothing scary for a little kid. Or yeah. uh, or the visuals or, are very friendly. Yeah, visuals are very friendly, and any innuendo for a six year old is going to go foof and anyway. Even the two or three words that were spoken that you know a six year old a if six year old only knows in terms of bathroom. Uh, and uh, and on, on the upside, Barbie's world, if 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 she's if the little kid is it was girl kid, is into dolls, it is amazing. The visuals mm. on Barbie's yeah. world and and yeah. and accidentally just before yeah. I went to see the movie I saw a, a lady on YouTube unpack a bunch of Barbie vintage dream houses and so I had just seen all of these dream houses and they are exactly like that in the movie I mean maybe not precise precise but yeah the slide and the colors and and then one of them is pre predominantly lilac colored that when the executives come to Barbie land they get out of an elevator that is predominantly purple one of these houses was predominantly purple so yeah. it is so smartly done in that way at the looks so for six-year-old yes take yeah. your kid yeah. if if they don't hate anything colorful <coughs> take them or to pink. go see <laughs> get them to see the barbie movie and why not there's it's not like... there's no reason not to and uh, the it's... only th other thing is of course this is a dutch kid and this movie is in English, and with six-year-olds... There might be a Dutch dubbed version. Mm, I don't think so, because it's yeah. not meant for. Um, mm -hmm. So the only thing I would say, even though they cannot understand the English and are maybe too small to read the subtitling, but at six, you should be able to catch a little mm, bit. It's, it's, eight, eight, is, yeah. eight, you mm -hmm. should be able to read subtitles. But it goes very fast. Yeah. Six, you should, they start to read. <clears throat> Even so, there is visually and in the mime that people, the movements, is enough for, for a six-year-old to have a ball. And then get the thing on DVD afterwards, and then they play it every year until they start to get to... Oh, oh, oh! It actually oh. has content. There is actually <laughs> that's something what it's about. in the story. <laughs> and that's perfectly fine, because I... I uh, we we watched some yeah. stuff when we were really little, definitely. And then later we got so like, oh oh is, is that the point? Yes. One one of the things that was odd for me was to see the Muppet Show, like this 1970s Muppet Show, when I was in my twenties. I saw an episode again. I was like, whoa, this is a whole lot of Americana that I never under never knew that that was in there. I didn't when you were were eight did, years old, yeah, yeah. So I was very young. So it's like <coughs> no, I didn't. Uh, and, but yeah, you enjoyed the Muppet Show at eight years old. You enjoyed you the, Muppet the Muppets immensely, and yeah, you, and they're you, singing and they're you, dancing, and it's you understand colorful and there's puppets. You understand a certain part of the mime. There is this miming, and and what the uh, 
Barbie is about, not just this movie, but Barbie altogether, is role-playing adulthood. Yeah. That's what made Barbie uh, start. And I had a gripe with the movie for the very, very, very first I scene. I thought you were going to talk about that. <laughs> In the very first scene, yeah. um, they have a bunch of little kids playing yeah. with porcelain dolls, yes. uh, baby dolls, and then Barbie... Uh, uh, an adult figure of Barbie shows up yeah. and then so all of a sudden but the thing is Barbie uh, when I was a kid Barbie was not for little little kids it was for uh, teens and I because Barbie was actually prohibitively expensive I couldn't even afford I couldn't we had no Barbies we had no Barbies yeah. we had no Barbies when we were kids we had Legos we had Playmobil yeah. um, which are, are uh, Legos is straight up construction and, and Playmobil is more of role playing but it's general role playing and Barbie was prohibitively expensive so I had to save up a lot of uh, uh, pocket money to buy a Barbie and I couldn't buy a Barbie I bought a Cindy instead because Barbie mm. was too expensive. Mm -hmm. I liked Cindy as well. She's, she's in the same type. I'll, I'll show you one here. It's it's uh, uh, Cindy disappeared. But she mm. was nice. Um, yeah. But it was meant. And and as time it was sold as what they call a teener pop. A mm -hmm. teen doll. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean that the doll is depicting a teen. No, it is meant for teens. It was meant for teens. So the later, I'm sure, 90s fashion of giving these dolls to younger and younger and younger kids because now they give them to six year olds you, you, you buy but it cost it costs like seven bucks to buy to buy here Babsy here cost seven bucks mm -hmm. I bought it for seven bucks uh, this this uh, earlier this year and I, I think uh, just um, uh, Christmas my, my little Christmas present I just grabbed her and uh, so she's been getting cheaper every year and and I believe that the one that I didn't buy and I bought the Cindy instead was 40 guilders yeah that was completely plain off the doll, wall. Uh, not, plain, not plain, possible for was, a kid to buy just not so yeah. um the the idea that uh, that uh, the idea that dolls are for little kids is also a strange one because yep. that is not true. Because these porcelain dolls that they show in the beginning, those are not for little kids. No, There's, no. It, I, I was I was looking at going. Armin's gonna so <laughs> tear into that one. <laughs> Uh, it's, no. it's not meant for for because no. if you give a six year old a porcelain doll, you it get a breaks. broken doll. <laughs> you have broken faces. But this is the thing. Fun. This is the thing I've seen in Hollywood for a longest time because there's an episode of yeah. Little House on the Prairie where the kid kid gets a porcelain doll and it promptly breaks. So stupid. You don't do that. Certainly Yay. not in the day and age of Little House on the Prairie. I think that was the 1930s or 20s or so. No, uh, some no, some it was the Great Depression. Uh, or, or I believe it was intended to be a great depression. Okay, but uh, the thing is, uh, maybe at no, that point, but, but if you go to the 1880s, kids did not get dolls like that. No. This was for adults. You got a wooden doll. Uh, it's for adults, and so Barbie was always meant for teens and yeah. coming of age. Because one of the first things that actual first Barbie had, the mm -hmm. first outfit other than that little spin sims suit number was the stewardess outfit yeah. that is and that is why uh, she has always been an icon of role playing to in in a, it's not feminism as such but it is no it's reflecting reality reflecting like, reality and it's reflecting what is now in the world for women Yes. One of the things a woman could be in the late 1950s was a stewardess. And As you could look good and you can have your, your uh, own uh, income, you could have your own job. This is kind of like Doris Day time, that kind yes. of thing. The kind of jobs that yeah. Doris Day did. So you could be a fashion designer, <coughs> interior designer, and you could be a stewardess until you get married. But we won't talk about that. <laughs> and I think this movie is in the same way a reflection of what we're doing right now because this mm -hmm. movie comes out between Oppenheimer and uh, Astro, Asteroid City. Mm -hmm. Asteroid City is Americana. It's a Barbie movie, but in Americana. Mm -hmm. and, and Oppenheimer... It's more boy Americana. It's yeah. boy Americana. And this and, and Barbie is girl Americana. Mm -hmm. But it is in the same style. So it's, it's a vintage nostalgic, um, but with a 
push forward. Well, Astro City a little bit less push forward, but I'm expecting, I haven't seen Oppenheimer yet, but I'm expecting to see Oppenheimer to make some very, very definite statements about certain things mm. because it's that kind of director. And this movie also makes a couple of definite statements about things. Mm -hmm. It says a few things that sh needed to be said about the way women are. But also about the Barbie franchise, about, about uh, like 60 plus years of Barbie. Yes. Uh, things had to be said. The fact that they put Mattel in the story. And Mattel is indeed a room full of stuffy men that ha are wearing grey suits. Um, that's a statement. And so they're addressing the things that people have had uh, issue with for a long time. But ma ma um, and, and, and Mattel is aware of it because there was a discussion on uh, between the director and Mattel because in the end Mattel had to sign off on this thing. Mattel could have made this thing and then decided they didn't like it and then junked it and they didn't. They did sign off on it so in the end even though there was discussion should we do uh, uh, should they do feminist and not do feminist and uh, sh show toxic anything in here and in the end, the director got her way and Mattel said, okay, I we'll do it. I think also because you have a director like Greta Gerwin who has already got so many things clearly on her uh, uh, <laughs> resume. <laughs> uh, and she's just done Little Women and I, I'm sure there's a, a hundred things she's done that I don't know about. Um, you don't say no to her. When she's really taken a good look at it and said, okay, this is what we should be doing. Uh, this yes. Is what she is a female women's director. Yes, but you do say no if Mattel is worried that you're going to mess up the franchise. Yep. It is, is their bread and butter. They cannot afford to yep. have Ma Barbie messed up. So they, they, they have a, a say in it and they have to say, but they did say yes. And I think, I think there's the also right an choice. argument to say... We are in a modern world now. We're in the 2020s. We're good and well into it. We are no longer dipping our toes in this whole uh, gentle feminism, Me Too world where there's a little bit more LGBTQ and diversity. No, we are like, we have slid right into that. And Barbie isn't only an icon for young straight cis women, but for a whole lot of other people as well. So there's you know there there's more in the world than just the the pink Barbie with her yeah and I, with and her fashion outfit and I think that Mattel in their hearts are very aware that what they're doing now with this movie and the dolls they put out are the ones mm. that are going to influence six year olds from now on yeah. and Mattel is aware of it and that's why they're very Not careful it influences the six year old it influences the yeah, parents who buy the dolls for the six year olds no it, inf it but I'm, what I'm meaning to say is yeah. that it influences the culture of the six year olds who will grow up to be people yeah. later on and Mattel over I mean it's like uh, 75 years of, of history now uh, nearly, uh, yeah, I think 75 years of history of, of Barbie history. Uh, um, yes. <coughs> I'll put it, we'll put it here. <laughs> <laughs> Is that they they realize that they are making a difference and that uh, that is a responsibility and you have to take it seriously and i think they are taking that seriously that they they yeah. that's why the the story of the Mitch the 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 doll that was dis discontinued because it was pregnant uh, because it had uh, it just came out at uh, in it's like very late 70s early 80s uh, the Mitch came came out in a uh, in a time when Mattel was still gearing towards the teen uh, going to adulthood which means that a baby that's that's a little late so but if you if you're starting to, to give the dolls to young kids and then you have the pregnant Mitch with the tiny parts it started to become weird and the moment Mattel realized that they discontinued the Mitch because of that reason because the, the, they started to realize okay this is actually conversation we're having a conversation with the buyer and and what we sell and uh, and then that has to fit so that's why they keep pussyfooting around from what what should we uh, make and what should we sell and that's why you get get a, a sugar daddy daddy can because 
somebody had an idea and you just throw it at and oh that one didn't stick oh. did not land correctly <laughs> and some of them landed really bad and some of them really were surprisingly good like this thing is surprisingly good but it isn't the same kind of let's throw something at something at the ball because there is no way to predict what people will actually like Will they like the... No, never. The not, not in any movie is it ever possible to say... You can say, okay, this is likely going to be a hit, but you cannot say, we know for sure that if we do this, then it's going to be and, hit. And sometimes you cannot pre no. predict that this thing that looks great on paper is going to go completely kaplooey on its ass. And sometimes it's just because of something that's completely unassociated with it, because one of the actors is doing something stupid, which is... Thank God didn't happen in this project at mm. all. But that happens. And and this one, uh, basically Mattel had to trust that the director knows her, her stuff. And she does. And she also did so much research that even if you get a little thing wrong, which is, th this film is not perfect, perfect. It is 90% no. no. Pretty perfect, uh, but the ten percent we don't care about because the rest is so good. Mm -hmm. Because uh, even if you think, um, so maybe the casting of the the, the the CEO is is actually I liked him, but suppose you didn't like him very well, much. You're supposed to like him. He was cast to be liked. <laughs> suppose uh, you didn't personally didn't like no, that I, actor. No, I heard criticism that the yeah 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 <laughs> that the CEO and the Mattel uh, boardroom that they couldn't work their uh, um, entry and exit card through the little swivelly thing going out of their own building <laughs> that was that was a little bit on the no. yes we get that they are supposed to be cartoon characters and that they have very little brain possibly this just plastic is far brain we don't know but that was a little beyond it's like Oh, and it works if I do this. It's like, don't they go in the building every single day? No, they have, that? No, no, no. They have a secretary. They have a secretary who walks before, who does the thingy. Then it opens yes. up and then lets everybody and the out. The secretary looks like one of the Barbie <laughs> secretaries. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the, the whole room full of guys. It, I couldn't the, believe they were doing that. I was just looking at it going. I don't believe what I'm saying. This is just. But it's because it because the the the, the almost everything in this movie movie is meant to be abst abstract yeah and then she walks somewhere into the building she goes upstairs or whatever and she walks into that room with ruth in it who is indeed the original barbie uh not designer but the one the who, founder of the company yeah, the, yes. yeah yeah who, who who well the the, the barbie brand at any rate mm -hmm. and uh and has a conversation with her and it was like a 1950s little room i thought that was so beautifully done yeah. and i got immediately what they were doing I understood this is yep. this is going to be the lady that was involved with I mean I didn't research it I didn't know her name yes it, sure her name is Ruth I don't care uh, yeah. The interesting fact that is but she, yeah. less less clear in the movie because either you know it or you don't, but the the lady's name is Ruth Handler yeah, yeah, yeah. and then later when Barbie yeah. at the end if you haven't seen it yet go see it first and then come back and then after I Okay, right now come back and then <laughs> after <laughs> after she, after she becomes real, she she names herself Handler. Okay, Barbie Handler. She's um, in uh, originally she is uh, Barbie Roberts. That is uh, Barbie's actual last name. Uh, yeah, but uh, because the the roof Handler's actual kids were called Barbie, uh, Barbie Barbara, Barbara, Barbara and, and, and Ken Kenneth. and Kenneth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's yes. where the names come from. Yes. The there's a whole bit about where her looks come from because they let me put it this way they stole it and then bought out the company that had the looks <laughs> but okay we'll we'll skip that Whatever. and <laughs> it, it's okay it's okay <laughs> they they bought them out and gave the money so and and it was a, it was a company it wasn't a person so that that's fine <clears throat> um The uh, the other thing that uh, at the beginning where Barbie's introduced and they talk about the little kids and the smash, I didn't quite. I was not quite into the smashing of the the the, the, the dolls scene, myself. That the is scene, not. I, the like, scene mm. is a, a re 
Uh, yeah, it's from uh, 2001 Space Odyssey. Space Odyssey, yes. And there's also a Matrix uh, a reference with the the, the Birkenstock and the uh, and the high heeled shoe. I, I and and it's like, no, you are taking this one. Which I thought that was very good. Uh, I by the way, I liked Weird Barbie. <laughs> yes, I think probably fun. like Weird Barbie best of all. <laughs> For a moment there, when so. I was watching it, I was thinking, hey, is that pink? The, mm-hmm. the the pop uh, the pop because uh, she's got the same looks as pink and I was like is that pink no it wasn't pink but yeah, I um I I love that actress I've probably seen her something something else but uh, yeah mm-hmm. that was the the leg they 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 faked the yeah, leg yeah, they, yeah. Had, they had yeah, yeah. they had they had because she swings her leg up onto like the ball so they had a fake she's leg permanently they, in the spits <laughs> <laughs> yeah they they had a fake leg that she could swing up on places yeah. <laughs> yeah. I liked, uh, and and it, you can see that is that the effects and uh, the looks are practical effects and looks. You can see that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the the in Barbie Land, the pe- the sky is painted, and you can see it's painted. Yeah. That, that yeah. I love that, uh, yeah. and and that freaking is strongly I, plastic and yeah. stuff like. I, yeah. I feel that 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 works for because it is a doll world and and they are not pretending they're not dolls which yes. in in the Lego movie they're not especially pretending that they're not Legos but they are pretending that they're people. Yeah. And here they're saying no these are dolls. And that is actually plot of the film is they are dolls. I love it the moment and, the moment yeah. that that Barbie uh, has has a crisis. She sort of starts, sits down in that in that in that typical. Uh, uh, yes, <laughs> she she actually the actress sits has, down. Sits Margot, down like, Margot Robbie has, has she Barbie down move, like this. <laughs> movements and then she and then she rolls over like you would if this doll did yeah so then she just literally rolls over like that. <laughs> So, yeah. And then, you know, you can't get up like that. So, <laughs> it's crazy. No, it's I love very it. well done. I, that's yeah. what this makes this this film is good is all those mm-hmm. details and the fashion and and just oh, just the the, um, the moment when Barbie comes to Mattel and then they try to put her back into a box. Yeah. And then they um the the looks of that box. Yeah. I mean that that it was cool. And yeah. they tr- they tried to put the little little ties on her. <laughs> the details, the details. The ties were amazing. Yeah. I I yeah. I yeah. <laughs> and and I th- I think that's what makes this movie and things like like an Astro City and that's why I expect something like Oppenheimer to do as well is that now they do these things correctly mm-hmm. uh, it is a matter of money because you have to spend uh, i think this one cost a hundred million and, and something and 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 the uh, astro city is going to cost something like like that as well it, it costs money but if you do it and 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 if you look at the wikipedia page on on, on product on, on what they looked at in in just in looks and they actually went to Mattel and asked that Barbie pink. Which pink is that? Oh, said, said Mattel. Um, because of pandemic, we're a little short on that pink. We have a little left. And 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 the film said, we'll have it all. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I can imagine. But they took the time, and it's just a match. It's just details. They just took the time to research which is that particular, mm-hmm. the, the real Barbie pink. We want that pink. And, and because everybody who is a fan is going to know. And people who are not a fan or a cursory fan are going to go, yeah, that's, that's clicks. It, the, the dopamine mm. goes, goes off in the head. Mm. It works. Um, smart. This, this, is how, this is how to make movies. This is simply how to make movies. And this is a perfect movie, no, but don't need to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, 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 m- most of it's there. Um, and it's, a, it's an anybody can see this movie and have something to think about uh, even uh, the dads because <laughs> dads are going to have to come to this as well uh, the man because yes it's a story of Barbie but it's also a story of Ken yeah so uh, the actual plot I think there's two sides of the actual plot one is the story of the, the, the woman who was playing with the Barbie and giving her bar- uh, our uh, stereotypical Barbie a uh, existential crisis yep. and she ends up in the real world the other story is the 
matriarchy in Barbie land versus the patriarchy in the real world. I think that's those are the two big lines in, in the story. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, I think it's really one of those situations where you see Barbie is like, in the beginning, you know, you get Barbie land and Barbie is on top and every Barbie is on top and everybody has a lovely life and then it's high Ken, high Ken and everybody's high Ken but there's no Ken has no nothing, he's no story, he has no background which and, that, and that's that is what the Barbie franchise is like. Yeah. The Ken is an is an uh, accoutrement to Barbie. And that's, they make a big point of They that. make a big point it's of It's like that. Barbie and Ken. Yeah, and, 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 and uh, yes. the Ken's uh, crisis is that Barbie, uh, the Barbie that he was meant for, is not interested in him. That's yeah. his crisis. Yeah. Uh, her crisis is a, an actual crisis, and his oh, crisis... his crisis is also an actual yeah, crisis. Yeah, but his crisis is in, in, in country, yes. inland crisis, and she's yes. got an outland crisis. Well, but they're both existential for their entire... Oh, yes. For, for their Very the purpose much of living. Literally. For both of them, it's equally as important. Um, I'm not, I'm not yeah. under under uh, appreciating mm-hmm. Ken's... I, 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 I do feel for Ken. Yeah. I feel for Ken yes. because uh, in the Absolutely. Barbie world, Barbie has... 4,000 different options she, she can be. Mm-hmm. And Ken has 40. Yeah, it's there are 40 different Kens. Yeah, that, that's... yeah. There and there's, there's 4,000 different Barbies. Well, uh, 200 something, yes. Uh, ever made? 4,000. Well, ever made, I don't know, but the professions, there's 200 professions. 200 yeah, but she, professions, has, and she Ken has, has 40 professions. Every time she's, she's made, because every Ken... Is it's like Beach Ken is going to be wearing like like jeans, and then you have a Barbie that goes with him. So for every Ken that already exists, there is already a generic generic a Beach Barbie with a Beach Ken, yeah. and an artist Barbie with an art uh, artist yeah. Ken. You know, so whatever he's completely outclassed by her, yes. and his uh, reason for being is to be uh, and, and, and that, a, that, 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 uh, Arm candy, candy for Ken, for, yeah. for Barbie. Yeah, and that last part is the bigger that's problem. Not, that's not fair. That's yeah, not that's fair. That's the bigger problem for Ken's existential being, you know, being uh, in the world. For, no, for his personality. The, 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 his, his crisis is that she doesn't really want him. That's his problem. The crisis is then, that, but what no, is he going to do if, if, if she doesn't want him? Uh, because no, I, but I think that, that okay. So then he has his two part crisis. Yeah, One, she does. doesn't want him. Therefore, wh- who am I? But yeah, I think exactly. the who am I is the actual crisis. Yeah, but that's the second. He finds <laughs> Can out. Can I be somebody without her? He finds out that he has an who am I crisis because yeah. he cannot do. Yeah. He cannot be what she wants. Yeah. Apparently, she doesn't want him. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that yeah. gives him a crisis. And then yeah. it's what, what am I going to do now? And then he runs into the real world and he runs into a whole other mess of things <laughs> that we have in our world. Learns about patriarchy. <laughs> um, Doesn't involve horses. <laughs> Yeah, and that he's very disappointed that the patriarchy <laughs> doesn't, doesn't involve, involve a lot of horses. It should involve horses. Well, he's on the photos. He oh, he saw the horses. He saw the Marlboro Man. Yeah. He saw Sylvester Stallone. He saw <laughs> the cowboys. Of course, he's going to think it's going to involve horses. He's like, where are the horses? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not. Su- I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of men in the real world don't go. You know, I would love to have been a cowboy, or at least like it's the boy dream is yeah, astronaut, cowboy, or whatever pilot. Yeah. I guess. Some of those firefighter, the, those traditional things that people like to be, but one of them is cowboy. Yeah, and of course Ken wants to be a cowboy. Why doesn't yeah. he want to be a cowboy? A yeah. cow, cow Ken. Cow Ken. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I think it'd be very disillusioning to find out that there aren't any uh, horses that come along with the patriarchy, because he he probably thought if I create pa- patriarchy in in Barbie Land. Then I will have the horses. Yeah, they will and just I come. Will be a cowboy. I will build it. Therefore, they will come because yeah. this is how the how that world is. Yeah. But the thing is, this it didn't work. <laughs> this Barbie is role playing, and so he's role playing yeah. the par- patriarchy for which, with role playing, you have to ha- get horses. And if you don't get horses, <laughs> you're going to be disappointed <laughs> because he find out that ro- that it is not. Being in charge is actually not role playing. That's one yeah. thing he did find. I mean, they yeah. don't actually have to rule uh, a Barbie land. They don't actually have to do act like like uh, uh, do actual governing. Like, um, uh, I mean, I don't know what the president does other than be president. <laughs> uh, but they don't have to make streets and stuff like that. So the regular type of governing you don't have to do. But 
almost immediately they ended up in a war. Yeah. A war of the cans against the cans. And well, that's... It's, it's the Barbies that instigated the war. But okay. If, if you, yeah. If you get modern, if you get grown up, uh, uh, if you look at grown up things and start to role play them, you will have grown up problems. Mm-hmm. And then there's a war, and then and then there's a war, you know. And thank it's God, the, the cutest only... war ever. But <laughs> <laughs> and it ends up in a dance off between between the cans, <laughs> and then some of the cans start dancing with each other. And I was like, okay, this is cool. This is just because like meme it is role. it is a role playing of a six year old doing a role. The role yeah. that you pretend grown up in in a six year old f- framework mm-hmm. uh, because that's. Uh, that's why I still say this movie is still suitable for six-year-olds. Mm-hmm. It, it is, this is... Um, yeah. But that is the thing that um, a lot of people maybe not realize, about, especially about, about girls, is that being a kid, you're busy trying to, be a grow, to grow up. And that is what Barbie is for. That is why she is popular. That is why she is always given, because it is a tool to grow up. Because that's what kids are supposed to do. They're supposed to grow up. Pe- grown-ups, especially American grown-ups, seem to feel that uh, childhood is a magical time and should be preserved at all costs. And that's not how kids see it. Kids want to grow up. That is their job. That is their entire job for the time they're growing up is to grow up. And Barbie yeah. helps with role well, one of One of the things with the smashing of the... Uh uh, the porcelain dolls at the beginning is the narrative was saying kid, babe, uh, ch- young girls young girls, these were like six, five, yeah, five, six year olds are asked to play with baby dolls um, because that puts them in the mother role and that's also asking the child to grow up. Yeah, this is also it. all <coughs> dolls no matter what for, for kids or for adults are educational tools. They are educational toys to um, role play. Kids mil- play, the future. play mommy and daddy. I don't know what that's if called you have, in the English terms, yeah. but in you know, and then as we play mommy and daddy. Yeah. And, and, uh, yeah. With the baby doll, you play you you play the you play mommy to the de- to the doll, but you're role playing. And even with like like action figures, you're role playing, yeah, but you're role playing an adventure. Yeah, you you're role playing what you saw in that movie or you're reading in the comic book. But it, with the ba- with the the doll that that mimics a baby situation you're role playing your mother yeah you know because you 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 look up to your mother and father and 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 you want to be and with barbie with them with barbie because specifically barbie is not a teen or a child doll she is an adult doll and you are and immediately gets an adult adult, but young adult but uh, adult uh, jobs. Uh, yeah. I mean, we haven't really seen her much as a student. She is a graduate student at one point, but is, is, she's it's, usually, it's usually post study. She is a professional, a vet, in, or there isn't yeah. a doctor now. That's the, there was a bit of con- bone of contention in in the in, in, with the Barbies that it took a very very long time for the doctor to come, but yeah. she is there now. Yeah. And she was a vet for for pretty early on, so yeah. that was Lots good. Of vets. So you got flight attendants. Uh, you start off with like fashion designer, which is a proper job. Yeah. Uh, but it's the first one, of course, is a fashion model. Then you've got fashion designer, singer, lots of ballerinas, flight attendant, nurse, babysitter. Mm. Yeah, that's the the, uh, the one that got discontinued as well. Uh, business executive in 1963. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. And cheerleader, lots of cheerleaders. You want uh, you want also jolly stuff. I yeah. mean, that's another thing yeah. that 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 Mattel yeah. understands. And that this movie understand we want jolly yeah uh, it's a it toy has... it's supposed to be jolly yeah it, colorful it, it... and and happy yeah 65 you get the first astronaut she's an astronaut of multiple times yes uh and she's a student teacher whatever that means but later there's, there's a lot of times she's teacher so there's a huge because i was looking at this that and like teacher i think is the one of one of the the, the very lots. often ballerina lots of ballerinas yeah okay and, and other types the, of the, dancing the, so then the 70s you got uh lots of olympic stuff yeah there must Olympic. have been olympics in the u.s yeah there was I'm olympics guessing. in the so figure skater yeah. skier olympic swimmer i was actually looking at uh the Wik- wikipedia has a whole list of of by type, uh, you know, what kind of uh, part of industry she was working in. 
And uh, as to the Olympic stuff and all the uh, athlete, athletic, athletic stuff, it's a pretty much across the board all of the stuff that you would expect that a woman could do. Yeah. So there's not really any gender uh, crossover there, but it, they're all kick-ass things. So. And, um, and and also you have to have a look. I mean that is it is Barbie. It is a look. Well, you it's want like a if, look. if a woman, woman can't do that particular sport, there is no sport for that woman. Then then there's no Barbie for it. Yeah, but it, that um, like like they wouldn't. Uh, uh, I mean, cheerleader is inter- interesting because you have a look. Yeah. A ballerina is interesting because you have a look. Yeah. And and I know weight weightlifting would be not that interesting for for a look. I yeah. mean, it's just a person in a gym suit. So yeah, I mean, and then uh, you know, you get you get like uh, in the eighties, you get a- a- aerobatics instructor. Well, that was a thing going on. So, so that's uh, and some of the Barbies are from this ballerinas. from this point on, you get specific Barbies that are for specific people. Like like yeah. at least one of the uh, the the Olympic Barbies is going to be uh, a uh, known. American Olympic athlete who is going to be barbified Possibly, from yeah. this point on. And then you've got in 85, you've got astronaut, astro, astronaut. And I think that's because of the yeah. woman that was chosen to go on the challenger. Yeah. yeah. Uh, who was uh, also a teacher. So, uh, and then this is business executive and veterinarian. So now in now the, we get 80s, the vets, yeah. we're finally getting to something that isn't the most traditional of veterinarian of all the types of doctors is yeah, yes, this it's going to be pediatrician and it's going to be veterinarian yeah, and, and you'll that's, find there's a lot of pediatricians <laughs> and that is the complaint that was that yeah. is going to be uh, but now we have an actual doctor doctor right. yay okay, okay, <laughs> but yeah. it took too long and Mattel yeah. is now aware of it that it took too long yeah, for and, and w- I was watching the in, uh, an interview with Ruth. Uh, what's her last name again? Handler. Handler uh, from the 1980s. It's on YouTube somewhere. And yeah, she's, she she's not here anymore. In the 1980s, a... where we're like looking at astronauts, business executive, and veterinarian, uh, she was saying in the 1980s, literally that she was never envisioning Barbie as a uh, uh, bringing the world forward, but saying this is what the uh, what the women are doing right now to the little girl in the form of Barbie. Yeah. But then So you did yeah. have female veterinarians, yeah. you did have a female astronaut. And what it does is because it takes this image that she cre- that they created right now of of the women now uh, reflected in Barbie. Exactly. Takes it to the young girls who are 6 and who yeah. are going to be or uh, young women yeah. in about 10 years. So it's not aspirational in the sense of we would love to have a woman astronaut. No, once there is a woman astronaut, there's a woman astronaut, there's an astronaut yeah. Barbie. And the only thing that Mattel can be uh, criticized for is that doctors have existed, lady doctors oh, have gosh, existed for yes. a long time and there weren't any. But they've, yes. they've rectified it. Yeah. Um, uh, there's also like Canadian Mountie uh, Barbie, uh, uh, game show host Barbie, ice cream cart owner Barbie. Yeah, I suppose better with, than ice cream cart worker because there's also that. Yeah, but that one's uh, that kind of thing is because then you can actually include the ice cream cart. Yeah. And so you get a bigger package yeah, and have yeah, a yeah, bigger yeah. role play moment. Yeah. So that is why where you go ice cream cart. Barbie, why? Mm-hmm. That's why. Mm-hmm. Because a business executive, you can give him a ni- give her a nice suit, but that's it. You can even give her a briefcase. She's but been like um, uh, you know professional woman so many times, but it's but all very generic, and we don't know what exactly. And but if you give her something like vets, and that's why vet yeah. is is very popular, is that Lots you can. Of- Animals, animals and and, and, and a little uh, and stethoscope and and, and, and and all the stuff around yes, so you can, you can give her an office and stuff yeah. like that so, so that's i'm thinking important. in 1989 uh, we'll have to look this up maybe we can have it over here is she also becomes a unicef ambassador now i'm thinking audrey hepburn uh, yeah th- th- that may have been a special edition th- that's yeah, yes because uh, there's certainly an audrey hepburn look in the movie the first the first time we see her it's like it's audrey hepburn yeah. all over from and i uh, don't know if it's going to be that one but later they actually do have an audrey hepburn barbie 
Oh. Uh, an addition for uh, uh, okay. some sort of anniversary for breakfast yeah. Tiffany's. The, these anniversary stuff is not going to be in here. These are going to be the prime Barbies. These are not going to be the special, special, special uh, this editions. This is Wikipedia. Uh, so in 1991, we get in a uh, United States Air Force pilot. I believe that's the first time. And then we get a lot of things that is military. So uh, also... A United States Marine Corps sergeant and United States they Navy may have, petty officer. They may have had some sort of uh, uh, connection with the Yeah, so government. maybe some one, some woman made Air Force pilot that was high profile, got into the news. And so that's what I'm thinking. But I don't know. I know nothing about this. Uh, I'll get back to so all sorts of, you know, rapper, rock set, uh, oh, sorry, rocket, uh, supermarket cashier. Sure. Uh, it's and the, then we get get 1992, you got the first presidential candidate. So that was my thing about the presidential. The president Barbie <laughs> is there was no president Barbie. There's like five different presidential candidates only st dating from there relatively is, There is not one now. <laughs> but the president Barbie was uh, is is listed in 2023. Guess which year it is. Right now, yeah, like yeah. the movie, Every, 2023. So all these Barbies. They knew, they knew they needed to get off that presidential candidate and onto president. I think... we have had President Ken. I think um, that um, Mattel also made a list of, oh, these, we want to do these as well. And they added it all in to this uh, film. And all of now these... we can be aspirational about it. That's but the thing. But all of these Barbies are... are I'm assuming are all going to get issued at some point. All of oh, these. I, oh, the some so yeah, or have already been issued. I because the 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 price of Barbie's production because ten bucks. <laughs> and and, and this is this is generic generic Barbie from off the shelf ten bucks and and you know uh, that means that they have to they actually had to change the the Barbie style because this is a cheap Barbie her leg does not bend ah. whereas this one is more expensive this one does it has this uh, system where it bends the leg which is, means that this was a much more expensive Barbie um, but you know it's so easy. To, to make mm -hmm. these dolls for, for 10 bucks on the shelf, then we can put President Barbie, who is black, and we did notice that, uh, on the shelf. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. You could put all of them on the shelf, the entire range. And I already know that the Margot Robbie Barbie, uh, uh, stereotypical Barbie, and uh, is selling for big bucks. And she's, she's, she's yeah, expensive. So my debate is that stereotypical Barbie is actually a 2023 edition. Yes. But, and but she... not the same edition as the, the 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 first Barbie, who was the swimsuit Barbie. But the, they made Barbie, Margot Robbie up in the complete in swimsuit. Stereotype. Yeah, also. also she's as the original of... Barbie. And I think... Yeah, but she's wearing a lot of Barbie outfits. But I think Margot Robbie and they... With Margot Robbie, they locked out so much. Mm -hmm. Because uh, she has exactly what I always felt with Barbie, she has these slightly over exaggerated features and still drop that gorgeous because mm. she has everything a little bit too big, but she still dropped that gorgeous. And that's one of the things I always had with with the Barbie is that it's a little bit overdone. She's a little she bit very big eyes, but big eyes, so big eyes, big smile. And that's what Barco Robbie is. Big Her eyes, big smile, smile was like <sighs> And then she is, wide, she is the yes. right kind of blonde, because I think she's actually that blonde herself, or nearly that blonde. Know. And and so she is, she is Terrico's typical Barbie. Margot Robbie is uh, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Perfect. I mean, and, uh, the part, she's a beautiful girl. And then they actually belabored the point in the middle of the movie that, yes. that they were making a point about well, women, women, a, women being impossibly, possibly pretty and then having her as an example is not as possibly pretty. But the, the thing is, she is impossibly co pretty. Co <laughs> comment says you, you can't make this point with Margot Robbie <laughs> in like uh, splattered all over the screen. And But I think it is still important that you're making the point with a woman that looks so good. Yeah. Because a lot of women have such low self-esteem and they can look like that. I have had women who are as pretty as that say to me that they are ugly, yeah. that they're not good enough, that, they, that they'll never get a, the, 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 the person to love them or whatever. It's like, what the... Mm, you know? And, and it's for real. So 
for Margot Robbie to have an existential crisis and to have like this whole because n- I'm too ugly and nobody loves me. Yeah, <laughs> and and it's I suppose it's a little old in Barbie land because she she everybody adores her, but there's this suddenly smacked in the middle of her face is that that she came into a world where where it doesn't matter that she is that beautiful. In fact, what she's wearing, everybody thinks is a really crazy idea and she's being slapped down for it. And everywhere where she was expecting to find her sisters to uh, bring her um, uh, self-esteem back up, like go to the construction workers, (laughs) which I've never seen on the list that that Barbie was ever a construction worker, but okay, we're going to go with that. Um, is like, uh, you know, she was expecting sisterhood. She was expecting people to be really nice with each other. And, and, she, and she got, got her ass to slap. She got the opposite. However, I thought the guy, the construction guys were actually quite nice. Yeah, they were nice. I've, I, I've, 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 I've seen a lot worse. <laughs> you know? Kind of. I think that the construction guy's reaction would have been the same if a little six-year-old girl in a little print, pre- pink... Together with a six-year-old boy. Yeah, in a, in a pink dress, old yeah. old up came up and, and, and said hi. And they sort of reacted That's... the same way. Yeah, so nice, <laughs> nice, and nice and non, and non, 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 we, we don't know what, what you're doing and why you're doing it, but we're not yeah. gonna be judgmental yeah. about it. And there was there was very no, little or no sexualization of Barbie in this film. Yeah. And, um, the, and the and the and th- of the, the relationships. The other thing I appreciated very much and the fundamentals of this movie is that they the the casting, they have adult people playing Barbie and Ken and not like late teen or something like like dumbing getting it down in that way no, this was a smart move because yeah. Bar- Barbie is an yeah, adult she is, she she is, is not a teen plus. and sometimes yeah. these these movies and that's why uh this type of movie has had a very bad reputation. It's now getting better because of this movie, but also there is a Ninja Turtle movie that we haven't seen or will see uh, that is sh- helping hmm. by by making the taking these franchises that are these kid franchises and then who have always been had really bad movies and sometimes not inside bad movies but just the looks were just bad because barbie had a couple of movies where you go when you when you open them up inside hey there's there is something there but the looks are so meh and this one has the the looks are perfect the casting is spot on in the smartness of picking the age group um the age group of of for whom it is meant is smartly chosen because it is set for 13 yeah, plus PG 13 yeah. which is what Barbie always was mm. you're role playing towards adulthood so of course it's going to be 13 plus still I would take my six year old to see it if they were interested because they are heading to adulthood too this is your road to adulthood and that is what for Ken is about and for Barbie it's about mm. and that's what it ends up and I think for both of them to have an existential crisis of are we in charge or not because you got the patriarchy uh, in the real world, you got the matriarchy in the in the Barbie world. Nobody questions it until we cross. And and the question is really, you are on top. Why are you on top? Think about why you're on top. If you're on top, don't you have responsibility to everybody else who isn't? Shouldn't shouldn't the Kens all have their own Ken houses? And, and, Ken uh, and and you shouldn't you have like split split the time between the Barbie nights and the Ken nights, the girls nights and boys nights. And what about Alan? And what about and Mitch? Yeah, well, Alan was supposed to be uh, Ken's best friend, who yeah. in the Barbie world got a wife and children. Uh, but here, uh, he does not. Um, so this is like pre the, him having the Ken, a family. The Ken, the Mitch, uh, and the Shelly. The Shelly is a little kid. That they yeah. didn't do any kids at all. But there's yeah. also a couple of little kids in the in the universe. These are all from the before 1980 mm-hmm. time. 
After that, they stopped naming the ranges and just it's Barbie does stuff and Ken does stuff and oh, that's right. it. But the the Mitch and Alan and his family yeah. were meant to be yeah. uh, the the friends of the Barbie world, to be in the Barbie world. Yeah, and, and, so, and so, it didn't happen. Uh, so they stopped Alan, doing it. Alan goes in with the Barbies in the in the pink outfits uh, to to create uh, to yeah to because take he's not a Ken Barbie land. because he's not a Ken. Yeah, but I've seen people. <laughs> I see guys on the internet respond saying, I'm so glad Alan is in there because I am an Alan. I am not a Ken. Yeah. And one of the things is is Alan is is the male that can be comfortable being around the women in Barbie world. In Barbie yeah. land. Yeah, she, he, and uh, is, Alan does, is not is meant not to be a um, type A personality. Yeah. He's not doesn't have to be He's not meant to the, be the, bar- the Barbie's pilot. the Barbie's uh, um, uh, other. Yeah. That's that's yeah. like Mitch, he's supposed to be one of the friends. Yeah. But he also doesn't seem to be in any sort of alpha male competition with Ken's. The, Not sh- the Kens didn't even look like they were in any sort of competition with each other. <laughs> the thing, yeah. the problem with the Kens, and that's that's the problem that the Ken, the Ken had, and all the Kens have, is that they have too little background, too few jobs, too little depth. Whereas uh, the Barbie, because you're playing with the Barbie, and the mm-hmm. Ken is on the side. Every time you need a boyfriend, so, you pick up the Ken and you have it on the side. People don't play the Ken; you play the Barbie. But it's, and that's it's not fair toy. to Barbie, of course. But it's, a, it's a girl's toy. And I was always imagining in these kinds of things, and I still do with like uh, shows that are, are about women, shows that are about men, is I assume that the other characters have a life. Yeah. Which but in, the... in a doll world, if you don't create the life with like a house and hobbies and people in that life and horses and, and a horse and a bull and whatever then they, then it doesn't exist yeah and, so, and the, the unfairness to Ken is that the horses do exist in the Barbie world but they're Barbie's horses they're not Ken's yeah that there would is, have been an is, interesting uh, scene if there had been a, a there horse. is a question in Barbie uh, there, the horse exists so sure, yeah, yeah so yeah yeah well, they, they think, have I they, think they need the, to get some horses but the thing is <laughs> this uh, the both the depiction of Barbie world and the depiction of the real world in this world yeah. is not no complete. It's, it's not, abstract. It's it is not. Ab- it, it is, it's not meant to be complete. It's a fantastical concept. It has. It's not. It is reality. a highlight of bunch of uh, of things of reality that come forward yeah. in the Barbie world yeah. and in it's the simplified. girl world. In in what well, you can tell it by Mattel and a little bit by the mother and the daughter is it's also very simplified. Because the, the the mother and the daughter can just up sticks and say we're gonna go to Barbie World, Barbie Land. It's no problem. Yeah. Um, so so clearly reality is not reality. I mean, um, I mean, a, a bunch of executives can use use those a, a dull method of to travel to bar to Barbie Land. I mean, really. Yeah, everybody can use the dull method to bar- travel to Barbie Land. So all you have to know is, is where to start. I mean, you start yeah. with with uh, skates on, on on the boardwalk so, and then. <laughs> and I. I, I heard a lot of people didn't like the speech that uh, um, Gloria, America Ferreira, uh, who plays Gloria, uh, the, the mother, the, the yeah. mother that she holds the speech about all the things that are required of women to actually mm. be women, and it's all contradictory. I love that. And speech. I thought it was like that is yeah. so awesome speech because it's true. Finally, somebody said it, and it's true. <laughs> and and okay, so they're saying it's too heavy-handed. No, it's not too heavy-handed. How long are no. we making movies? And how yeah. long has nobody, has no man ever understood that this is the problem? So I, yes, this this had to be said, and it has to be said in a Barbie movie because not only the kid wants to go, but the mommy and the daddy will go, and the daddy will hear it, and the mommy will go, yeah, that, that, yeah. that. That's what I've been trying to explain to you all this time. Yeah. So sorry, but yes. <laughs> and again, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> it is also still coming of age. It is the road to adulthood. This and is part it is also of the, what girls of... need to know is that this is all going to be required of you. And if you, if you, if you uh, try all that, then you're going to be crippled like Barbie, lying flat and with your fa- face down into plastic grass, uh, and all your your poofy hair 
doing this uh, yeah. because it, it, it's going to short circuit your brain. So you're going to have to say, okay, I'm just going to fail at some stuff. And yeah. that's also part of being an adult. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you have to learn what you cannot be, may not be able to do and, and decide not to do that. And uh, yeah. that's difficult. And you're going to make mistakes, which is also part of growing up is making mistakes. And I think also accepting that the adults in your world, like your father, your mother, your aunt, your uncle, whatever, other non-binary people... Uh, uh, they will have made that, mistake. That they are also, yeah, fallible. They are they are people. They are a person like you, and therefore you don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be perfect. Yeah. Um, and if you because if you require of each other that you're perfect, that that's not gonna be that's not gonna be possible. And, and you're and asking for failure. And Barbie and Ken in this thing, neither of them were perfect. I think Barbie was close to perfect in Barbie land but the moment she went anywhere else she her she decided to change her day the, um, yeah the, what the one thing that was wrong with stereotypical Barbie is that she had nothing to do all day yeah but it didn't bother her <laughs> yeah that, that's okay that, 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 that's that yes so. but that was going to c- c- come up and haunt her and it did because it had it gave her gave her time to to get somebody else's mm-hmm. s- psychosis mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, Ken also has a speech, and I loved that too, because it was a speech in which he was actually discovering that he was a person by himself, that he yep. could live not as an extension of Barbie. Yes. and Which is for, also very important to know, that you, you don't yes. have to be somebody else's extension. And that's this your, your reaction is exactly why I like it, because he's not talking to guys. He's talking to girls. This is a woman's speech that he held. Yep. And every time I see people going on the internet, it's all oh, Ken, Ken was uh, shafted going, Ken is not Ken. Ken is an aspect of the female uh, yes. uh, experience. And he is showing, it's like, I need to be a person by myself. I need to... Uh, not define myself by the person who was supposed to be my other half. But it is a smart thing to have Ken uh, have this situation and Ken have that story because Ken is doing the male aspect of the situation. In real life and in many situations, it is reversed. Mm -hmm. It is the women who are completely uh, considered to be the ornaments. And, and has to define herself by the person, the by guy, by usually some, the guy, but you know, by the by person some, that by they anyone are. else, yeah, yeah, or or first the father, the mother, the the teacher, uh, then the peer group, and then the the spouse, yeah. and then later her children, yeah, you know, and you do not have to define yourself by other people. Nobody has to, has to define themselves by other people. You can also then relate yourself to other people once you have your own definition. Mm -hmm. But that's a different thing. And Barbie is very much her own uh, um, her own self. And Ken... She spends no time uh, and she's not interested in thinking about what other people think she ought to be. The only thing that, that, that bothers her is when she found out that Young kids in the in the real world don't respect her because she they they feel that she is not at all a feminist icon. In fact, look at the world around us. Yeah, it's not worked. It's been going <coughs> going on for like umpteen decades. And I think that is actually uh, not entirely true. Um, I mean, Barbie and uh, and altogether ed- educational toys. And I'm going to take that as a complete thing because mm-hmm. it is an educational toy. But so is Legos and so is Pl- Playmobil. Playmobil is mostly Europe, but <clears throat> or or uh, Meccano, which is a construct- construction. Any toy, and um, uh, and especially something that does role playing as good as Barbie does, will help and shape the world because the children who are playing with the Barbie now or with or with the Playmobil now are the adults of the future. So. Then you must, it is an educational toy and whatever you do, it is making an impact. The question is, what kind of impact? Mm-hmm. And and that is a criticism towards <clears throat> Mattel, towards uh, any doll company, is that you 
infantilizing and keeping women down yeah. is easy and you have to fight against it. And Mattel is trying. <coughs> In a way, they're trying within a business model because they also have to sell dolls. They have to sell the you sell the dolls to the parents and the parents give it to the children. Yeah. So you have to go through that level. So, so you're Ma almost Mattel, a generation behind. Mattel yeah. can't just go uh, selling non-binary uh, uh, transgender dolls right now. Because the parents may not buy them well, yet. Well, yet. well. And they were st they're there starting. Was, there was a transgender uh, Barbie in this movie. And we just were saying we are expecting all the Barbies to come out as dolls. Yes, we are. So they damn well better make and, that an actual and, but, doll. But they know they can sell that one to the transgender community that are now yeah. grown up. They're not going to yeah. be uh, given to the kids yet. But they will in, in about 10 years. Yeah. Uh, over time next, they will. Next generation. It yeah. is very important that a Mattel, and, and I think they are very aware of it, to keep now keep on the cusp of what is... That is why they oh, they did the astronaut. The moment the astronaut comes out, they come out with an astronaut. The, the moment there is an, yeah. uh, uh, an interesting lady it's... president type, they come out with a presidential candidate type. They are on the ball of what is going on right what now. What is going on, but not aspirational enough. It, uh, it's not, like, it's, it's, they, it's still they, the right now Yeah, but they, ca they, can't, they can't be ahead because that, yeah. the business model would suffer if they did that. And that's fair enough. But yes, I expect to see the transgender doll to come out. But they also had like a doll that's, um, and, and that's, or at least... 20 years ago or maybe even 30 years ago they they put out uh, I don't know why it came up uh, maybe um, Paralympics came up or something like that and so they oh, there's put one in a wheelchair <coughs> there yeah. is yeah. there is a, a Barbie in a wheelchair and mm -hmm. that's that's already like 20 years old or more yes but and a she, yeah, okay, but that is what yeah. you can expect from from I mean, from a company like this is that there is a of these yes. things. And we won't, won't off very fast see it, but I would love to see Blade Babe uh, doll. You know the Blade Babe? Is a Paralympian, yes. a Dutch um, Paralympian, and she she was the fastest uh, runner for like yeah. I don't know how many medals she got. It was insane. The blade, ba um, the, the blade, babe, like type dolls. People do them as an as an as a as, as a mod, mod, mod. A mod yeah. However, yeah. on that note, there is uh, for the Lego. I believe it's Legos. Hmm. There is uh, they did a sh uh, range. Oh God, uh, I'll have to check if it's Legos, but I think it's Legos. A range of little figurines, and there is a, there is at least one with a, an, a missing arm. So that's. Hmm. That can go I into think it's the Legos. Paralympics as well. Yeah, uh, so these these companies are aware that if that is a subject of discussion, then they should think about do we make to make it doll? That's why the, that's why the things like Sugar Daddy comes in, mm. or or earring can comes in because uh, earring they can try stuff. Earring can is yeah. when suddenly when everybody's turning gay. Apparently, the little end of the eighties, everybody seems to be in the gay thing no, is a thing, no, and that's then you get gay. Near. It was it was a fashion statement. Yeah, okay, but that's because it is a reflection of what people look like, and the mm -hmm. gay people were doing a single earring, so that's how you got earring can. Hmm. Earring can is not particularly gay or straight because they so, are ni neither of them. They the, don't have sexuality well, as such. Yeah, they're they don't they don't. <laughs> but you have get earring can genitals, and, so. and and because. The society is doing ear earring people, earring men, they do earring him. Yeah. And then pretty clearly it becomes, oh, yeah, that didn't, one didn't go down well, so they discontinued him. Yeah. And that's how it works. So they're going to try with uh, a wheelchair uh, Barbie, and if it, uh, if it goes well, then, 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 then yay. And if it doesn't... But there's also a, a, a portion of things that I think you have a society... Um, you sh you should be doing if you're a company that has some some standards is you should also be doing certain things not because it is immediately going to get you a bottom line of many zeros uh but because it is the right thing to yeah. do and because it helps the world forward like you know you make buildings and you make some art in the buildings because that is better for the world that has been proven so if you make a product you also make 
part of the product actually to be part for social change, you should really be doing that. And I do that. And what I do is then make a smaller edition. And if it if it if uh, people s- s- go, yeah, we don't care about the Barbie in, in a wheelchair, then they sort of go, okay. And if they uh, people say, oh, God, that's exactly it. And then they re- re- then they do it again or do some more of it because mm. it is a company. They, they do stuff to make money and yeah, they understand. made a lot of money here i understand capitalism <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay but no. it is people forget sometimes and and that that these movies and and these franchises they have to make money that's the point um if they can do it while making a little girls happy and little, big bigger girls in this case <laughs> And then so much the better because they realize that if you make people happy, they come back for more. So we said a lot about um, many actors, and I want to say something about Ryan Gosling. Just <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I hadn't seen him in anything. I'd heard some about him, but I'd yeah, seen he t- was in uh, the new Blade Runner. Which is I haven't seen yet. Now a few years old, and that's what. And then when I heard it was him, it was like, what? Because I don't know him either. Apparently, he's super, super he's, he's, well known. Yeah, but, but he seems he, he was always in that things that we was, weren't in. He so was it's awesome in that one. So. And he was awesome in this. And yeah. and like Margot Robbie, uh, if you think about the Ken, because Ken has a certain look. Ryan Gosling doesn't come straight to mind, but then now you're holding them together. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Works. Stereotypical typical Ken. Yep. Uh, <coughs> and, and and the dancing. And the singing. And he, the singing. Sing, he sang himself. And um, uh, we did talk about the storyline, so what I want to talk about, the, the other Kens. Oh, yes. Um, uh, is that they, the... the so, and, and the other Barbies is, is like the... the, the, the the palette of colors. Oh, um, yes. I, th- I think that is beautifully least, done. Um, and so many famous names, like the, the yeah. like the the Ken. There was an Asian Ken, and he, the same actor, is is a star in one of the Marvel movies. There you mm. go. Uh, uh, one of the, the 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 very dark Ken is going to be the next Doctor Who. Mm-hmm, <laughs> he, mm-hmm. I actually don't even think he had any lines, and. Almost everybody is in England because they recorded in uh, in England uh, in the Greater London area somewhere in Hertfordshire. Um, they recorded uh, the all the Barbie Land stuff and then the stuff that is set obviously in 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 California is California. So you have the a lot of. Uh, British cast and a lot of American cast, so mm-hmm. so that's why we suddenly have a Doctor Doctor Who in this thing. <laughs> well, I, I thought, the, the, of course, the new Doctor Who is going to be a Ken. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> they had one no brainer. <laughs> what I particularly liked about both the Kens and the Barbies chosen, and that is what Mattel Mattel has been doing in the last twenty years, is trying to diversify the look. Uh, what did they did? Uh, and maybe people who are not into Barbie are very less aware. They have a new range called fasc- Fashionistas. And which, because the Barbie shape, that's the Barbie shape. And all the Barbies wear all the same shape. But these Fashionistas, mm. they have different shapes. Like there's a little yeah. one, which is and slight. And there's a fat one, and, mm-hmm. or fatter one. Yeah, and the so, complaint about the, 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 the body shape is that it was it's not actually, you know... It is better than this. It's better than that, but it's so like... it's it is it's <laughs> it's trying to show some diversity and still then between them they have like five different shapes. Otherwise, you get too many. You get the problem that you get too much cl- too much uh, clothing issues. Like the reason that Alan wears the same as Ken. It, it was every time they mentioned him, it was in there. Yeah, he is, wears is all Ken's con- clothes. Convenience, because yeah. otherwise you 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 make the the parents pay if you buy a Ken and then also buy an yeah. Alan. You have to get a complete new yeah, Norwood, and it was expensive, right. especially earlier. It was expensive, so that is why they had the one size. I don't suppose Ken could wear Barbie's clothes. Uh, he has if it's stretchy like that, might he? Uh, he, he <laughs> might, but she, she has this waist. Uh, they actually uh, adapted the waist. The waist is a lot better than it used to be. It used to be absolutely horrible. <laughs> <laughs> they they fixed insane. her a little yeah. bit uh, slowly. She's slowly changing shape. It's fine, uh, <laughs> but. 
that idea of the fashionistas, they put that in the movie so that yeah, you get, we, get we a, had, a really we had fat, a, a, a big, a big uh, Barbie, yeah. big Barbie, and, I, and that's and why she you, was prominent as well. So and that's yeah. why the the uh, John Cena Barbie, who was the mermaid bar, bur, mermaid Ken, <laughs> <laughs> who's John Cena, who is I think he's a wrestler or something like that. He's a big dude, dude, oh, wow. <laughs> and so they put him in the sea because he the Kens need to fit in the same stuff, but the mermaid Ken. Doesn't need to fit <laughs> so, but that's all the cats are. Need any clothing, the really. can the cans are roughly the same, even though they're not quite yeah. the same. I yeah. mean, I mean, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't try to have these cats no, to change all the not clothing. Not real humans, but they're they're doll counterparts, definitely. Yeah. Um, so I, I liked the few moments that you had a couple of cans dancing together. There was one moment when two cans were uh, giving a little <laughs> peck on the cheek to the stereotypical can. And uh, I would say that that, that was awesome. But they, was, they, they are so aware. They, are, so they aware. are aware, but I think it is such a tiny little multiple the head because let's be real this entire thing is super binary uh yeah women over here men over there and in everything it is the the discussion between the man and the woman there is the, and the, even the, the, the there's a trans woman but she's with the women so it's still women over here men over there and but you do i uh, realize that uh, even it, that these these have no a sexual component yeah, at all. They don't even because, have genitals. Because this can have breasts though. Ken is interested in Barbie so. and Barbie's not interested in Ken. But even if Barbie was interested in Ken, what are they gonna do together? Uh Sing at each other? Sing, <laughs> sing at the end with the sunset. That's clearly, you know. So Didn't it, you know? That so that's what binary do? and non-binary <laughs> is, is not is a moot but point. Because, a, but because not even that. I mean, it's also that looks like LGBTQ diversity apart from uh, the much yeah, appreciated this, trans woman this, is not there. Okay, but this is a world for six-year-olds. Yeah. We are still trying to figure out... What is female and male? We're not even fig because bi binary and non-binary. That's a completely different discussion, and it's very difficult discussion. Yeah. But first, as a kid, you start to figure out: oh, this is a girl, that is a boy. How does that work? Yeah, it's just for a six-year-old. That's just words on paper, and 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 yeah, the the boys wear trousers and the girls wear dresses, and that's it. That is the difference. The difference yeah. between a female and a male to a six-year-old is the 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 dress, the, yeah. what they wear, and how they wear their hair. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, the <laughs> and long hair versus short hair. Yeah, then, so so yeah. Uh, the the transgender is easy enough. You just just yeah. uh, 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 Sl uh, slot it into the other uh, section. Yeah. yeah, just change put the hair, a dress hair on it. <laughs> yeah, put a dress on and change the hairstyle, and and you're the different the other gender. You know, that is six year olds. Yeah, <laughs> life should be that easy, really. <laughs> if you're a Barbie, it might be. <laughs> so anyway, for a super pink movie, I felt that the rainbow was a little missing, but. Yeah. Um, maybe part uh, the next one. Yeah. And and um. Yeah. What would happen in the next one? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, because yeah, Barbie moved to the real world. Oh, but there's lots so of other bar Barbies left. One of the things I loved is that because she already has Gloria and her daughter, she is basically coming into the real world as uh, a child or or an, an uh, a relative of that family, <laughs> and she can be. Uh, she can be eased into the real world she for as a, long as she needs to. A, which is a long family. time. She, yeah. she has oh, this to is not going to go fast. <laughs> she, she needs to go to high school. She needs to do all the things that... Yeah. Uh, <coughs> yeah. But that's because she starts off as a six-year-old. That That's yeah. that's the point. You are a six-year-old yeah. in a six... You, you see the reflection of the world in the eyes of a six-year-old. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. But... Okay. Did we enjoy it? We enjoyed it. <laughs> I think we talked over an hour about something, so we must have enjoyed we, it. We enjoyed it. It was uh, so, very interesting. <laughs> yeah, one of the best movies of the year, I think. Yeah, and and want to see it again uh, when it yeah, comes. Yeah, I on definitely a... need to see it again. Because this is one of one of when you can probably see a lot of times and keeps just literally seeing yeah. more details yeah. and and more. Um, stuff yeah this, this it has a, a bit of a willy wonka factory feel to it oh, for yeah. me it's like it's an adventure romp that 
you go through so many weird things that when you rewatch it, it's like, oh yeah, that's right, they were gonna do. Oh, and then they did that, right? Okay, <laughs> and then we have the Ken War. And <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And and well, you the second time definitely will get something more out of mm. it than, than the first time, I'm sure. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So that's my opinion and my opinion, and, and we're, we're sticking, sticking to, to it. it.